This video recorded the funeral process for a deceased person in Tibet. There will be scenes that some people consider barbaric, disrespectful, and offensive to the deceased. You can stop watching here. However, if you are still interested, you can follow up to draw some other perspectives. Due to living in the high mountains, burial is difficult. Causing some Tibetans to choose to bury their corpses to areas where the vultures feed them. The carcasses were chopped. Bones and joints are smashed so that the vultures could eat almost every part of the deceased's body. This form of burial is called bird vulture burial, sky burial. First look closely at the process of celestial burial, also known as bird burial. There was no such solemn ceremony as we have seen anywhere before, although the traditional customs were different. Here there was not the slightest imaginary solemn ceremony, no lamas chanting sutras, no morning morning. The people conducting the procedure completed their work in a very casual atmosphere. Talking and laughing. This way of returning is the norm in Tibetan regions. The world is not benevolent, all things are equal. Humans are like all other sentient beings. Self-nobility is just an illusion of the mind. I wasn't scared during the process, and I'm not afraid to think back on it later. No lamas chanting. Although the blood, flesh, and bones of the deceased may splash on the clothes. We want too much while we are alive, but we cannot take anything with us after we die. There was no crying here and I suddenly thought about my real demand. Whether we should find ways to excessive provision our own body, so that in the end, it's actually just blood and bones dissolving in this way or another. The forms of burial here now include burial in the open air, sky burial, water burial. In parts of Tibet also during the Tubo period, cremation and stupa burial were still common. The mausoleums now have underground burials. They ended their work of the Tibetan kings as the tomb of Zampo during the Tubo period. After the fall of Tubo, when Tibetan Buddhism flourished in Tibet, sky burial replaced underground burial and became a traditional burial, most important local in a very casual atmosphere. Water burial is the funeral of those with the worst social status and economic conditions. A handful of Tibetan settlements around the Yarlung Zongbo River also choose water burial. Cremation is a funeral that can only be enjoyed by monks. As for the burial in the temple, this is the highest level in the regions of Tibet, and only living Buddhas are worthy. Sky burials in these areas are inhabited by ordinary people in Tibet. We are used to dignified burials, with reverence with the wish that the deceased go to heaven or the land of bliss. So when hearing about the sky burial, we often feel strange or think that it is an ancient custom that modern society should abandon. But in fact, the sky burial not only still exists, but like us, buried inside, is also according to nature, not mysterious, not weird, not abnormal. In general, three or five villages will have a funeral ceremony area. The local lama will go to the deceased's home, after the funeral, do not follow to read the scriptures, and the deceased's family members do not accompany them. They will only deliver to friends or villagers. Someone oversees and a dedicated burial master performed with the blade. Those of you who have watched the entire video will know that the entire sky burial process is divided into several steps. Because the vultures have to eat meat, the bones must be completely crushed. And finally combined with the host food, staple of Shang Tibetan Zanba, Highland noodles and tea. 
In order to achieve the effect, if not eating all, the remainings will be burned. For 49 days after death, family members are not allowed to comb their hair, wash their faces, wear jewelry, or entertain themselves. As for the vulture, local people believe that it is a sacred bird that does not eat small animals but eats human corpses. The pine branches will be burned before being buried in the sky, and white smoke will rise. The vultures will know. After they die, they can be dissected, the soul can go to heaven. This is what I heard from the locals and recorded in the local Tibetan chronicles. Therefore, I hope everyone will drop their ingrained prejudices when watching this video. This is not insulting corpses, this is not cruel. It is just a millennial tradition and should be grounded in mutual respect. Death is not something to be feared in areas of Tibet, where many people follow the light of the Buddha. The greatest desire, or the greatest instinct of mankind, is the life instinct, the survival instinct. Therefore, the biggest fear is also death. When one sees death as a normal event, at least it also makes people always face the death calmly, which is also a freedom and freedom from life. Finally, I wish you all serenity, serenity and joy.